Today I will be talking about a game from my childhood, Aladdin, so stay tuned. Funny enough, the first contact I had with Aladdin wasn't on a Genesis, but on the PC in a friend's house. My friend had it on a floppy disk, and I spent countless hours playing the game before someone loaned me on the Genesis. But let's rewind and start from the beginning. Aladdin was first developed by Virgin Games and Disney Software for the Genesis, based on the movie story. The game was released back in 1993 for the Genesis, as I said before, but later ported in 1994 to Amiga and uh, MS-DOS computers, uh, Nintendo and Game Boy. Something important to refer is that the Super Nintendo also got an Aladdin version, but was released by Capcom. This version is also known to be much weaker when compared with the Virgin Games version. Aladdin became one of the best sellings on the Genesis, selling an incredible, incredible 5 million copies at the time. The gameplay is good, fluid and has responsive controls following, following some, somewhat the movie story. You control Aladdin where you are required to do lots of platforming and where you also have to kill enemies. You have a long range attack by throwing apples into your enemies or you can use your sword for close attacks. You can collect apples uh, that will give you ammunition to allow you to kill your enemies, gems that will allow you to buy lives and continues. The game is big for a Genesis game with a total of 10 levels. The, the difficulty spikes around level 5 in the Caves of Wonders and I saw myself dying many times until pa passing certain points. But let's be realistic, it's not like Aladdin it's a Castlevanian game, so after some trials you will be able to pass through the difficult parts. The game also got good critics, for instance a 8 out of 10. If you are a fan of platforming, you should play Aladdin since it's one of the best 16-bit games ever made and totally deserves your attention. Before I finish, and just as a curiosity, did you know that uh, a second Aladdin game was pinched to be made? The second game would, would have pre-rendered 3D sprites like the Super Nintendo Donkey Kong Country, so that would be interesting to see. And how about you guys? What's your opinion about Aladdin? Did you played it in the past, did you like it, or are you willing uh, to play it now? Please let me know down in the comment section. Until next time, if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and like.